today, uh, we're going to play a little game before I really get into this, but the, the title for today, for those that can't see them, kind of sorry, you know, kind of do that. title for today uh, is how easily or how quickly we forget. All right? Let's play a game. This is an individual thing. Who can tell me what the title of last Sunday's message was? Woo. There we go, Mike. Out of location. Out of range. Disconnected. Disconnected. Well, I'm glad that everybody helped them, you know, so. Uh, appreciate you. Right, here you go, right here. This way. Come on, come on, get this. Come on, get this. Here you go. God bless you. All right. Now, who can tell me? Who can tell me the first message of the year? The first one. Two seconds ago. Ooh, we. What you got? We know my house will start with New Year or something like that. Not exactly. Resolutions? No. What you got? Yeah. There you go, endurance. Merry Christmas. Never say I gave you something. All right. Who can tell me? Oh, here you go, Bill. Who can tell me what my son's name is? That man, I ain't gonna throw it, but you know, you know, don't get killed like that. It really wasn't majorly important that he knew that, but you know, I just thought to give out three bags, so I had to make up another question. Anyways, uh, have you ever been told something and five minutes later you forgot what you was told? You, you ever get that? I, I'm, I tell people, and I miss the truth, I'm very bad with names. I'm very, very bad with names. Matter of fact, there's some names in here that you done probably told me 8,700 times. And if you walked up to me and said, Mr. White, what is my name? I'd be like, you don't know? Because I sure don't. I, I, I have The only reason I remember names is there has to be something very significant that you've done that I saw, that you said, for me, that thing to click in my head. And some people, that's rude, you should remember everybody's name. Do you realize how many people that came through here? How many folk I done seen? I mean, I done saw this chapel fill over four or five times. And all of them, what's my name? Call my name. Uh, you. I'm praying for you and you and them. Because I'm bad with names. You tell me one minute, it's going the next. I just have to pray for them. If you really want me to know your name, you just gonna have to put me on Front Street. And how do you put me on Front Street? I was in class one day, and uh, I was just doing my work. And this girl turned around out the clear blue and said, you don't even know my name is, do you? What? You don't know what my name is, do you? Uh, Nicole, Cheyenne, Bridget, Phyllis, Bob. <laughs> no, I don't. And she said, my name is, I can't remember what she said, but anyways, um, she told me what her name was. And uh, it always stuck with me because she confronted me and made me pretty much remember what her name was. It was something that kind of burned in my head. And so today, I, I kind of want to burn something in your head, and hopefully you remember it. And, and I can ask you in October, if you're still here, uh, what the message was on the third Sunday in January. But you know, I know that because you burned it in my head. I want to be able to, when we do these services, not just sit up here and say stuff that just make you go, oh, hold up, yeah, that's nice. But I want to be able to say stuff to kind of stick with you. And I understand, I mean, we got all these Sundays, Sunday after Sunday after Sunday. You're going to forget some stuff. I forget some stuff. That's why I have stuff recorded, because I'll be like, you know what? Uh, I can't even remember what I said. You said this. I did. I don't remember. 
So it's recorded. But I, I, I hope, hopefully all y'all got y'all uh, VCR, DVDs, camcorders, all on record this morning. And I hope you record this message in your mind. And hopefully, when next Sunday comes, you don't have a chapel, then you know, you'd be like, you know what, I'm going to go back to the word that was talking to me last Sunday. And I'm going to try to get some more stuff from it. Anyways, today, we're in the book of Exodus, the 15th chapter, uh, verses 1 through 5. Uh, we're going to stick in 15, go 18 through 21, 22 through 24. And then we jump to chapter 16, verses 2 and 3, and then chapter 17, verses 1 through 7. All right. Uh, do I got any readers this morning? Exodus 15, 1 through 5. Michael, you can do... Uh, Exodus 18 through 21, Ch same chapter, uh, 18 through 21. I need 22, 22 through 24. I got another reader. All right, good. All right, chapter 16, Exodus, verses 2 and 3. Gotcha. And then Exodus 17, 1 through 7. 1 through 7, 1 1. Going twice. Going through. They can't read twice. I'll read that. There's no problem. There might be some big words. You know. Anyways, so let's get going. Exodus chapter 15, verses 1 through 5. Make sure you stand and read. And read loud. They were beaten in Egypt. They were made to 